Okay, and we've got some movements early in our swing um, that I want to address that I think can help us out. Um, as we go through the first thing that I'm looking at is are we getting our back hip loaded? And we've got a decent back hip load there. We could get a little bit more of a hinge, but it's not bad. But a, a couple of things here, you know, watch all of the examples. I put links to them again on this page of the major leaguers and how they load their backside and they keep their back hip loaded as they get off of their backside into their front side. I think that you were staying a little bit too much on our back leg when we are taking our stride, right? Um, we get a lot of, and it's not the end of the world. I know there's some major leaguers that hit that way, you know, that come that closed in. But what concerns me, and you can watch the, the way the major leaguer stride is, as you just look at toe touch there, you can see that that's not the most balanced of positions and that you're starting to get your weight coming forward there a little bit. Um, you can also see how you're a little bit uneven. I know that should be pointing up here. And it's because as we are taking our stride, as you watch your hands, as your foot's coming down, See how you're starting to come forward before you're even in the ground? You're initiating your movement forward with your top half. So see how your arms are coming ahead of your lower half turn? And as a result, we get a real sweepy around type of action. And when we're at impact, which is there, we don't get the line that should be running you can see how your shoulders are back here just a little bit that should all be in a straight line because we're just getting some arms first and you can see as you just watch your batting gloves right how disconnected you become your hands are behind your back shoulder so you can watch that sample that i put up of matt delvo and see how his hands stay in front of his back shoulder right but you can see as we get arms first what a long path that is to get to the ball. And we're getting a lot more, oops, we're getting a lot more of just this back knee spinning instead of our back hip driving. So it will really help to look at those major league samples and see how they get off of their backside. I think that you're definitely have too much on your back leg there. You know, just watch the way that they stride and you can compare it to the way that you're striding. I think you've got too much back there. You've got your weight coming towards home plate a little bit. But the big thing, Aiden, is again, as we watch our hands, you can see even there, we're coming forward before our toes in the ground. And then as we get to immediate preparation, you can see, watch your motion. Instead of you know the major leaguers where you see this hip driving forward, you can see how it's a lot of knee rotation that's not really that powerful and that's what causes this disconnection of your hands getting behind your back shoulder instead of like with the matt delvo sample how those hands stay right up against that back shoulder as they ride out to the ball